Coming up on Campus Connection, we take a tour of the newest building on the CSUOB campus, the Student Success Center. A strong week for Long Beach State Athletics, including the men's basketball team, thrilling comeback, victory over Cal State Northridge. Plus, see how CSUOB is helping feed students in the beach pantry. Welcome to Campus Connection. I'm Leslie Valise. And I am Sonia De Los Santos. Have you ever been, have you wondered what the new building in the quad is? Reporter Jake Bervis gives us a look at the complete Student Success Center. The spring semester has arrived, and with the added pressure of midterms approaching, students can head to the newly opened Student Success Center for a stress-free study environment that features many amenities and service from around the campus in one convenient location. The Student Success Center also features advisors and counselors to help students meet their academic goals and graduate on time. So we were able to collaborate all the different student services that were located uh, all around the campus, different nooks and crannies of the campus, and we're able to bring them, uh, most of them, to one centralized location on the campus to help students find and engage in these services to help their graduation rates. The Student Success Center has been in the works for a few years now. Since breaking ground in 2017, it finally reached completion a few weeks ago, and students couldn't be more excited. It's a wonderful place to study. It's, uh, it's beautiful to see the campus evolving in the way that it is. Only time will tell how the campus will evolve in the future. Reporting from Cal State Long Beach, I'm Jake Barabas. The school participated in a drill to test its readiness for an emergency. Everyone exited all buildings for the annual campus-wide evacuation drill on Wednesday. Blaring alarm sounds from the buildings helped a student know it was time to go outside. I didn't even realize that there was an earthquake drill until like, the alarm started ringing. Um, I was taking a test, so I had less time for my test. The drill lasted for 15 minutes, and vendors who worked at the student union were let back in first. By 1045, everyone was allowed to resume their activities. The Long Beach State softball team and men's basketball team both picked up an exciting win this week. Zach Handy has more on both of these teams. Thanks, guys. Long Beach State men's basketball took to the pyramid on Wednesday night for a midseason Big West matchup against Cal State Northridge. The Beach would erase a 16-point second-half deficit to win in thrilling fashion, 80-78. to Long Beach would grab 22 offensive rebounds in the come-from-behind victory, six of them coming from point guard Drew Cobb alone. The Beach were led by Brian Alberts and Deshaun Booker, who scored 20 points apiece. The play of the night came from Deshaun Booker, who was fouled on a three-point attempt just before time expired with the Beach trailing by one point. Booker would sink all three free throws, giving the 49ers the lead and the win. Jordan Roberts would also chip in with 15 points and six rebounds. Long Beach State softball also took the field. After a rainout in Palm Springs on Thursday, the weekend slate of games kicked off on Friday afternoon. The Beach would drop Friday's matchup to University of Arizona 12-3. Long Beach would bounce back, however, on Saturday by defeating the Tar Heels of North Carolina 8-4 behind a strong day at the plate from shortstop Nicole Fry, who ended the game with five RBIs, earning a split for the weekend. That's it for Beach Sports. Back to you guys. Students lined up this past Tuesday, February 19th, at the University Student Union to receive free business attire. Reporter Alba Mejia gives us more details about the event. Students lined up at the University Student Union this past Tuesday to receive free business casual clothing. Uh, I chose to come to the event today because uh, I knew it was a great opportunity to get some professional clothing. Associated Students, Inc. and Career and Development Center joined forces to create an event that was targeted towards helping students for upcoming interviews. We want students to be able to have appropriate attire to wear at an internship, or an internship or an interview for that matter. During the event, there were pants, skirts, blouses, and blazers lined up available for students to pick out, up to three items. To make this event possible, faculty and staff donated business clothing during a drive to help students be prepared for upcoming interviews. As someone who's graduating soon, and it's like internship season right now, uh, it's really nice to get some new career clothes and free. <laughs> free always helps. This event 
was targeted towards those students who plan to attend the job and internship fair hosted by the Career and Development Center. Alba Mejia, Beach TV. During the weekdays, students can satisfy their hunger at no cost. At the Beach Pantry, students can bag some snacks or get the ingredients to prep a meal. From veggies to protein, the Beach Pantry has more than just food. Toiletries and school supplies can also, can also be found. Students are super grateful of the resource that, uh, of this resource available to them. So they come in, um, they see how much they can grab, they see what they can grab, um, and they start screaming about, oh my god, it's like shopping for free, and it's literally what it is, so it's awesome. When the pantry is closed, more items are being placed on shelves to be ready for the next shift. The pantry is open Monday through Friday from 10 to 2 p.m. and during the wee evenings from 5 to 7 p.m. Thank you for watching Campus Connection. I'm Leslie Valise. And I'm Sonia De Los Santos. We'll see you next time.